Hi, welcome to Monster Transmission. You're in Kurt's Corner. Today we're going to go over a brake drum on a transmission. This happens to be a 480 transmission and it has the brake drum on it. It's usually found in a three-quarter, one-ton or larger used vehicle that has a big payload, anything of 10,000 pounds or more. Ford has their version of it on their E4Ds and 4100s and Dodge has it on their 618s and 518 and, uh, transmissions. Dodge also has it on their Dodge units on the 618 and the 518 transmissions. Similar set up a brake drum on the back of the transmission. It, what you do is they pull the emergency brake and it'll actually lock the transmission on the back it, which will also help it prevent it from moving so it has its own set of brake shoes inside. I'm going to demonstrate how to remove this brake drum because you will have to reuse it on the new transmission. This will not come on a monster transmission, so you reuse this apparatus here. The only tool you'll need is a, a hammer screwdriver and a either 3 quarter or 19 millimeter socket. So some of these units have been on it for a long time and the bolts are pretty rusty. So there's a very similar setup. The brake cable comes in through here and pulls this lever to apply the brake. Okay, so that's how this operates. You'll actually push on the brake drum and lock this drum, prevent it from moving. So obviously you remove the dry shaft, this is step one. Um, once you get the tranny down out of the vehicle, this is how you remove the, the balance of the bolts. You have four bolts and one inside here is a bolt which holds the, the actual slip yoke. This here is holding down the brake drum itself. So you're going to remove those, so you release the four screws and remove them off of the flange of the slip yoke that goes into the rear of the transmission. So it's four bolts, remove all four bolts. I'm moving this much easier than you will because uh, I've already had this apart. <clears throat> Yours is going to be uh, pretty tight. You might have to use a wrench and a hammer to loosen the, crack the bolts loose, the nuts loose to take it apart. <clears throat> and what you'll typically have to do before we start hammering anything, safety first, gotta put your safety glasses on. <clears throat> Use a ball peen or any other kind of hammer and you want to loosen it up because the brake drum sometimes will stick to the drum itself. So you want to free that up and make sure this is, the brake's released. And then this drum assembly will slide off the back of the transmission. <coughs> so the brake drum comes off. <coughs> It'll expose the brake shoes. And this is your rear slip yoke. So we're going to remove that bolt in the center. It's also three-quarter <clears throat> in the center here. Again, you have to use an impact gun to remove these bolts. It's the same size, three-quarter. This should have a bolt and a washer. So there's a bolt in the washer, remove both of those. So once that's removed, then you can pry off or slide out the actual shaft itself. This slides into the transmission. You notice there's a seal here. This will be on the new transmission. So you have to read, it doesn't matter exactly which spline that you line it up on, because it rotates, it doesn't matter where you line this back up. <clears throat> the next item removed is four more bolts. Again, they're three quarter or 19 millimeter. This is holding the, the, the drum assembly as well as the back housing onto the tail housing of the transmission. So there's four bolts. Obviously, when you take this apparatus apart, you want to inspect your brake drums to see if you need new brakes. Brake shoes itself. 
This one obviously does. It needs new shoes because they came apart in pieces when I originally took it apart. <clears throat> a couple of important items to note once you remove all the bolts this is somewhat spring loaded there is a assembly here which will apply these shoes and it fits directly into this notch right here. This lever is spring loaded here against the housing of the transmission. So be careful when you remove this that you don't lose the parts. This is the spring mechanism. There's a the shaft that actually goes in and goes between the shoes themselves. So when that's twisted, it actually will expand the drum the shoes itself. It applies here, and when that twists, it expands the brake shoes and applies the brake. So, now you've exposed this portion of the transmission. There are six bolts, 15 millimeter heads. Some models are rare and a little bit shorter. You may have to reuse this part of extension housing, but we will send you the new gasket to seal it here. Um, and we'll also send you a new rear seal that you will place on your new tr uh, transmission. So that would be the part of how you remove the drum itself. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to put it back together and how you preload that spring assembly into the brake shoes. Okay, now we're gonna reinstall the brake drum onto your new transmission. So the first thing you wanna to get together, there's the spring and the lever rod. This dowel rod portion of the of the brake rod fits into this casting on the tail housing. So you want to put the spring in, load this mechanism in, and it'll rest on that spring. Okay? The next item is the rear shield of the brake drum. You'll notice that it has a hole here. That's where the brake mechanism fits through. Fits right through that hole. So you can pretty much only go in one position. The next is actually the brake shoes, brake assembly. And right here is where this brake paw will actually line up between the shoes. So it's very important, you gotta line that up. So obviously this has to go in this direction to line up onto the onto the rod and what I suggest you do before you tighten anything up you would start all four bolts by hand that will allow you to move this apparatus before it's underneath tension of this mechanism to get all four screws started and pulled down, but not tight yet. <clears throat> You're gonna tighten these down to approximately 15 foot-pounds of torque, <clears throat> which is pretty much almost hand tight. You notice I'm not using an impact gun. <clears throat> And again, you want to tighten this down by hand. Before you tighten it, <clears throat> what you want to do is you need to move the shift rod, the parking rod, into place between these shoes. So as you tighten it down, it will line up and apply the brakes when you pull on this cable.
there you'll see now it's between the brake shoes, this pole. And as you pull out, you can actually see it actuating the brakes. Once that is in place, then you can continue tightening all four in a cross pattern. And before you tighten them all the way, again, make sure that the, the emergency brake lever is applying the shoes and then tighten it all the way. Okay, now that the, <clears throat> the brake shoes are lined up, you can slide in the yoke. Slide all the way in. They'll have one bolt with the washer. Make sure the washer goes in first on top of the bolt. Goes right in the center. And again, about 20 pounds of uh, 15 to 20 pounds of pressure. Tighten it down to that. Again, no impact gun. Put it in park so you can pry on it. Okay. <clears throat> Next is actually the brake drum itself. You simply slide that in and then line it up with the holes on the, the rear yoke. Slide, slide in to tighten in those. Leave it loose again to where you can line up the four bolts. Again, another 15 to 20 pounds of torque on these bolts. Hand tight. Do not use an impact gun. It's very easy to cross thread these bolts and then you'll be Trying to re-thread them or changing the bolt itself. And whenever you're tightening, make sure you do it in a cross pattern to pull it down evenly. And there, there's the drum put back in place on the new transmission. You can actuate. You should be able to rotate the drum itself, but of course you have to get it all park. And you see that it's not locked up. And when you apply the brakes, it'll lock the drum up. So that way you know it's working perfectly before you install it in your vehicle. So this is a 480 transmission, anywhere from 1990 all the way up to 2000. Um, we'll take the brake drums and the heavy duty applications. If you have questions, give us a call here at Monster 1-800-708-0087 and we'll talk to you then. <laughs>